I will now continue showing you how you can extend rendering the scene to the left and to the right so that we don't have this pillar box here but we can actually use all the all the screen space we have here so overwatch supports only three aspect ratios they support 16 by 9 16 by 10 and 21 by 9 um, so there is a problem if you have a monitor which does not fit this these aspect ratios you will have black bars on the left and on the right and there's also a different issue that you see less of the of the actual scene and the weapon model itself so if i switch to 16 by 9 so if you take a look at the weapon model here you see the hand and the pistol itself so if i switch to a different aspect ratio you see that suddenly we don't see the hand in its entirety anymore and we have lost a lot of uh, vertical information on the top of the screen as well. And if we now take a look at how Call of Duty Modern Warfare does it, we can see that we can resize the window to any aspect ratio we want and it shows either the letter box or what it does is instead of showing the pillar boxes on the left and on the right it just extends the scene rendering using horizontal plus and this is what we will be implementing next okay so let's solve this issues one by one and let us begin with the scene rendering first so we want to remove these black bars and fill this empty space with more scene. I will be using some utils for this I have written in the past so um, I will link this down below and what I will be using uh, exactly is I will be using these functions so these are used to convert the horizontal FOV to a vertical one and this thing is used to convert this from an initial horizontal field of view to over to a vertical one and back to a horizontal one so that we get the horizontal plus field of view and i will be using a function which will be giving us the maximum fitting resolution inside the given window so um so for example if the image would exceed on the x-axis we would um, add a letterbox and if it would exceed it on the y-axis we would add a pillar box let me show you this uh, on an example it will give us the resolution which uh, starts here and ends there so it will omit the black bars it will just check okay what is the biggest image with this given aspect ratio i can fit within this window and it will give us that you can uh, download the project on github um, or just pause the video and uh, and copy the functions which you see on the screen they're not really complicated feel free to to copy and to use it in your own project this uh, this thing doesn't have a license so do whatever you want with it and if you want to contribute to this uh, feel free to drop me a pull request and yeah all right, so let's start with the scene. Um, to solve that, what I will do is I will override the tick method of the FOE tutorial character. But when you are going to do this in your project, please do the right thing and create a new camera component and put the code in there instead of the character. I'm doing this out of laziness, so don't repeat this, please. And we will call super tick and so and here we will check if the card render target is using a letter box a pillar box or none of those things and based on that we will modify the field of view of the camera but first I I will go into the FOV tutorial folder into the source 
FOE tutorial and I will drop in the utils I just mentioned. All right, and here I will include them. It's under dark magic and utils.h. So, and what we want to do here is basically the same we did for the, for the skeletal mesh component. We want to get the viewport size and we want to also get the max fitting resolution and to get this we call the dark magic get max fitting resolution and we give it the the target width which in our case was 1920 and 1080 and the current width which is the viewport size on the x-axis and, and the viewport size on the y-axis and this will give us the uh, maximum resolution uh, in respect to this aspect ratio. And here we can check if the max fit is um, a pillar box or if it's a letter box or something else. And if this is not a pillar box, we want to constrain the aspect ratio on the camera. And if it is a pillar box we don't want to restrain it and that's basically it for the letter box and let me demonstrate to you how this looks like so we only have a letter box but we don't have a pillar box so already for the letter box case uh, we are done for the scene and now we will proceed to do the to do this case because right now um, it works all fine here, but still we are in word minus. And as you can see, um, this, the, the bigger the window gets, the less of vertical information we have on the screen. So we are cutting off the vertical information, which we don't want to do. Okay, so now that we have this set up, we have to store the initial field of view on the camera. I will just put it here initial field of view and this is because we will be modifying we will be modifying the field of view of the camera and as part of the initialization we will just copy the field of view to our variable and now we have to convert the initial horizontal field of view to a horizontal plus field of view and to do this we can also use the dark magic utils so it's horizontal plus field of view dark magic horizontal field of view to horizontal plus field of view and it wants us to give us the initial field of view the target uh, width and height which is 1920 by 1080 and the current window size and now we can set our camera to use this field of view instead of the initial one and here of course we have to reset this to the initial field of view because we are changing it there and we need also to reset it in case we are rendering the letterbox now let's try it out so letterbox looks fine and the horizontal plus seems also to work uh, one way to try to check is extending it like that. So we see the corner there. Yeah, it appears to work. We have to do the same thing for the weapon model. So in the skeletal mesh component, we will put a if statement here. And here, depending on if we are using a pillar box or a letter box we will create different projection matrices so we cannot make this const anymore we have to put initialization of this value inside of the if statement so let me just quickly copy it like that and I won't be needing this variable there so I can move it there I will rename this to desired horizontal FOV and here I will do the same thing I did in the FOV tutorial character. I will get the max fit resolution 
like so. And here I will also ask if if we are using a pillar box or not. And if we are, we want to get the whole plus FOV And for that, we need to give it the, the desired field of view. The target dimensions and the current dimensions. And now we need to do the following here. I have to do this and I have to change from target width to height and width. Let's see if it worked. And yeah, it worked. And if you take a look at where the gun ends here, if I extend, um, the gun will stay at the same place, but you will actually see more of the gun. And this is how you implement a double camera setup for first person games, including Horizontal Plus.